wanna be on top. and welcome back to AGNDM Cycle 8. Uh, this week's theme was Magazine Week, which is a theme that I've never done before, but a lot of models have definitely created magazines if a theme kind of relates to it, like for Fashion Week, a lot, I've seen a lot of people do magazine covers, and I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to make it an actual theme. So let's see what the models came up with. The first photo is from Aria, and this is so pretty. I love that you chose to put it in black and white. It makes the photo look very elegant. I love her dress and the simplistic background. It looks very editorial, which Vogue is known for. My only tiny critique would be to make the text the lightest value in the photo instead of stark white. So for example, like you would take your eyedropper tool and put it on the lightest part of the photo, which could be part of her dress, and and then make the text that color so it looks a little bit more natural because it's, it's hard for a photo to look really put together if the values are kind of like different. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like the stark white makes it look like it's not fully part of the photo. I, 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 if you get what I'm saying, I hope you get what I'm saying, but otherwise amazing. Job. The next one is from Bella and this is gorgeous. I absolutely love her dress and her crown. Once again, very editorial, which I love. I think it's really cute that you made up your own magazine for this week. That was a really good idea. Um, I absolutely love that. This may be more of a stylistic critique on my part, but I feel like a different font would look better. Maybe a sans serif font instead, which means to not have those little like flat lines on the top and bottom. That's a serif font. Um, I feel like the typewriter style font that you use doesn't really match the vibe of a magazine um, or at least like the logo of a magazine. I feel like maybe something more modern looking or something similar to the Vogue cover would be better rather than a wider font. I don't know, it looks a little bit off to me, but again, that could just be my style. The photo itself is perfect. Great job. The next photo is from Emma. I love this approach. National Geographic is super cool and it works perfectly for the theme. I never thought about doing like a magazine that's not like fashion. I think that's really, really cool that you should to do that. Um, I think it's a great photo overall. My only critiques is that it's a little bit too shadowed. I feel like you have too many darker values, so maybe lighten those up a little bit. And the saturation is pretty intense, so maybe dial that down a tiny bit. But um, I think you have some good color harmonization going on. It definitely is a natural nature photo, so I love that. It matches the border. It looks obviously like National Geographic, and I think this is gorgeous. The next one is from Frank, and this is such a cute idea to recreate a cover. Nobody else recreated one. They all did their own thing, but I think makes it even better than Terry, obviously. Um, I think you did a great job with editing the dress on. If I'm being picky, I would say that the logo is too low. You have a lot of room on the top, so it looks a little bit unbalanced. And I also feel like, again, the exposure is a little bit off for me. I don't know if this is just me, but I think you need a little bit more light. I feel like a reflector would really take your photos to the next level because you are, are a great photographer and you have such great ideas and you're awesome at editing too. So I think that would help you, but overall this is great. Next photo is from Harriet, and this is absolutely stunning. I love the choice of black and white. It works so beautifully, and I love the intense shadows in the background because it acts almost like a vignette. Um, I love that she's covering part of the logo because a lot of Vogue covers are actually like that, so it's really realistic. And I also think it works really well that you opted out of putting other text on it. It just makes it look more pristine and put together, and it looks just so stunning. Like the photo itself is very beautiful, so amazing job. The next photo is from Malu, and this is gorgeous. I love this dress and the tool tree. Trail. Um, you did a great job shooting in direct sunlight. I know how hard it can be. Um, it's definitely a struggle. I try to stay away from doing that, but I think you did a good job. I love the blues and the browns working together. They definitely complement each other. It's a really pretty combo. The only thing is, I think that the logo is a little bit oddly placed. I feel like it would have been better if you placed it on top. I looked at Vanity Fair magazines because I, if I'm being honest, I haven't really seen many. And I feel like most of them are, the logo's at the top. And I kind of see where you're going with the placement of your logo. You didn't want it to be just like, you slapped a logo on there. I, I do see kind of like what you're doing with like whatever the harbor in the background, trying to make it kind of parallel with that. I think that just cropping the photo a little bit and putting the Vanity Fair logo on top would have made it look a little bit more realistic to a magazine and it also looks like the photo is a tiny bit tilted like the harbor isn't level um with the ground i don't know if that is just me but um either way you did a great job the next one is from mckenna and this is so amazing i absolutely love that you created a whole spread it must have taken you a long time this is so cool i read the little article and it was actually so good like i kind of expected you to just kind of write like nonsense because you know 
nobody's actually like reading it in a magazine, but it was actually really good. You're a good writer too. Um, and you did an amazing job with each of the pictures and the overall layout of this spread looks super realistic and I think it's like not overwhelming. It looks like a real magazine. Um, I really don't have any critiques for you. I think this is perfect. The last photo is from Mirabelle and this is so cool. I love the color scheme. Obviously it's Mirabelle's hair kind of vibe, the purple, the pinks. Um, her pantsuit is so cute. Um, I also think you did a great job with the layout of the text. It's not too overwhelming, but it definitely looks like a real magazine. And I also think her pose is really cool and editorial, so amazing job. So it's time for Best of Bottom 2, but I just want to say, again, you guys have stunned me each week because all of you are, it's, I feel like it's a very level playing field. Everybody is so good. So it really is like week by week. If somebody has an off week, that's like pretty much why they get sent home. But everybody here is such a good photographer and editor and so creative. So amazing job to everybody. But unfortunately, it's my job to eliminate somebody. Best for this week goes to McKenna. I just think you did an amazing job on this. It looks so realistic. You definitely put a lot of time into it and it looks like a real spread. So great job. Next is Harriet, Mirabelle, Emma, Aria, Bella. And the bottom two are Malu and Frank. To Malu, um, I said pretty much all I want to say in your critique. I think this is a very pretty photo, but I feel like it's a little bit off in terms of the logo placement and the layout of it. I think it's a really pretty photo overall. There are a few things I would have changed about it. Um, and I think even in your case, adding text to the cover may have helped you just because you do have kind of a lot of um, empty space in the photo, but overall, obviously still an amazing job. To Frank, I also think you had a great idea here, but I feel like the elements of your photo don't all work together. I think maybe the, the logo was too low, which resulted in empty space at the top, which looked a little bit off um, for me. I don't know, I feel something about the exposure was off for me also. Um, and like I said, I think a reflector really would help all of your photos. So like I said, this is literally probably the hardest decision I've had to make thus far um, because you are both so, so, so talented. But the person who's going to be calling home this week is Frank. I'm so sorry, you did such a great job. You did such amazing editing while you were on here. Um, I would not have the patience, especially your like subway surfers photo. That was so, so cool. I don't know how you had the patience for that but great job and here are all of your previous photos. So the theme for next week is Modern Disney Princess Week and this is a theme I've done once before in cycle one so I'm bringing it back because I absolutely loved this theme. I do want to say don't feel like you have to go out and buy like clothes for your doll for this theme. I'm perfectly fine with you like editing clothes or just I don't know makeshift out of like a sock. I don't know. I, I don't want you guys spending like money on this competition. I know a lot of people do and that's that's up to them obviously, but I do kind of feel guilty sometimes giving themes like this because obviously everybody's like different and may not be able to have the same tools that everybody else has, but there's no way for me to make it perfectly even. I'm gonna send you guys an email obviously explaining the theme more, but basically you turn a Disney princess into a more modern version, whether that be like her clothes or the setting or the storyline. I'm super excited to see you guys come up with and and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.